Hi guys, this is Courtney. Welcome back to my channel where we discuss everything related to home fragrance, self-care, and beauty. Today, I am here to share with you all my Scentsy Warehouse haul. I got a lot, but I feel like for the price, I did absolutely great. Um, as I have said in other videos, I am newer to Scentsy. I am newer to the wax community. I am newer to actually... Um, I don't want to say collecting, but like building up my wax collection for the purposes of enjoyment. And so when Scentsy said that they were having this warehouse sale, I knew that it would be the perfect time for me to snag a bunch of things that I was interested in. There were also some things that I grabbed um, from the clearance section. So I'm going to share that with you all as well. So if you're interested, then go ahead and stay tuned. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to share, if I can access everything, um... And if you see me looking down, I'm sorry. This is because I have my iPad here um, so that I can share the scent notes with you all. Um, because in my last video, I was like, well, this smells great. And I couldn't tell you any actual scent notes. So I don't want to do that again. So the first thing that I got is the um, Caramel Chestnut Scentsy Brick. I got this like right before it sold out. Like I kept thinking about it. It was in the clearance section. It was like $16.80 and then it dropped down to 14. Oops, sorry. Oh no, I snagged my dress with this. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. Anyway, it dropped down to $14 and I went ahead and pulled the trigger on it. And so the scent notes for this are silky caramel and vanilla cozy up to warm chestnuts. And this, I wish I had gotten more than one brick. Oh, when I tell you this, this is what I want my house to smell like in the fall and winter. And honestly, probably even summer and spring too. I love this. I've already used the Cuban half of this. If you've seen my, um, what I've been warming and wax empties video, then you will know that I have thoroughly been enjoying this. So, uh, let's see. The next things that I grabbed, I just want to show you what I grabbed from the clearance section. The only other two things, um, and I got two of each. And the first one is the Christmas Cuddles. Oh, actually, it was three. I'm sorry. I got three more things from the clearance sections. Okay, so the next things that I got um, from the clearance section, I picked up two of each of these. So the first one is Christmas Cuddles. Okay, and I'm gonna drop that one there. And Christmas Cuddles has indulgent caramel and bourbon vanilla are spiced with cinnamon and clove for the ultimate holiday hug. And this one is interesting to me. Like it, it smells good. <laughs> I don't know if it's like a love. My bar is a little sweaty. Like these arrived a little sweaty. I don't know if I need to put them in the fridge or what, but anyway what happens when you live in the south <laughs> and the next one that I got is Christmas cactus and I got two of these as well see and this one isn't as sweaty yeah it's just that one and this one oh this smells great this one is agave nectar and citrus trim a cyber a Siberian fur for a new kind of winter wonderland mmm oh man <laughs> I like this. I think I'm really going to enjoy this. Um, I don't know when I'm going to warm them. I kind of just got everything and figured I would go from there. And then the last one that I got is the candied cranberry pecan. And the scent notes for that are classic cranberries and pecans are sweetened by sugar cane and a ribbon of brandied plum. And this smells really good. The cinnamon definitely comes out in this. So I will say um, candied cranberry pecan and Christmas cuddles are probably scents that I will be warming more so like in December, um, just cause they're so uh, cinnamon heavy. Christmas cuddles, I feel warm next week. <laughs> it smells pretty good, but I will probably still wait till I'm deeper into fall. So then the next thing that I got, I got this lovely basket here and I kind of separated everything or at least I tried to. So the first bundle that I got is the, uh, what is this bundle called? The Christmas in July wax bundle. And so these have some interesting scents. 
Um, and this is kind of just me trying things like out of my comfort zone. So the first one is Black Forest Pine. And this is Dark Fur Balsam um, Accented with Pepper Tangerine on an air of Smoky Vanilla. And, ooh. Ooh. <laughs> this smells like a Christmas tree, <laughs> as far as I'm concerned. And, mmm, I'm going to really have to be in the mood for it. Or, ooh. Or I'm either going to warm this in another room or hopefully um, if I ever get to participate in like the um, wax D stash or random acts of kindness, oof, I will be able to send this to someone who will be way more excited to have it than I am. <laughs> um, the next one that I should be looking for, oh, here we go, is Cranberry Garland. And the scent notes for that are Sweet Tart Cranberry, Grounded by Sage and Earthy Pine Cones. And this, Okay, this I like. It definitely smells like the holidays. Um, I get the cranberry. Um, I get the sage and pine cones. And I feel like I get I, I, cinnamon. <laughs> I don't know if that's part of the pine cone scent. But the cranberry definitely may, helps to make this a an enjoyable scent for me. So this I'm actually looking forward to warming. Um, next, we are supposed to have... Dancing sugar plums. Ooh, let's see. Oh, here we go. Dancing sugar plums. And this is rich spice plum falls into a in step with a uh, with vanilla and sweet cinnamon. Mm. Yeah, when you warm this up, I definitely get the cinnamon. But it smells great. Um, I think the plum is what really helps to balance this out. I'm not super into like spicy, cinnamony type scents, so that makes it easier for me. Uh oh. Next up is Huckleberry Wreath. And the, ooh, the scent notes in this are crimson red currant and a handful of huckleberries brighten a wreath of frosted fur. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> I think that I may not be a fan of huckleberry or I'm sorry not huckleberry of current I don't know if it's the current or the huckleberries but something about this is giving me like an an old cleaner smell like household cleaner smell again this is another one that um I will gladly uh hopefully be able to save someday for like a wax do stash or random act of kindness video because uh, I believe this deserves a better home than that, <laughs> than I can get it. And like I said, I kind of took a gamble on the Christmas and July bundle because I knew that these were not scents that I was used to. But, you know, I thought I would give it a try and maybe I would discover something that I wouldn't have normally gotten. Um, so next up is Icicles and Evergreen. And the scent notes are Cool Blue Eucalyptus and Pine Needles Iced with Crystallized Sugar. Oh, okay. Now, shockingly, now I'm not saying that like I would just add this to my club or buy, ever need to buy another bar of this, but it definitely gives like this fresh, cooling feeling. And I like it. I mean, I don't love it, but I like it. So I could see enjoying this on like a rainy kind of cold day. Um, yeah. Next is Peppermint Dreams. A warm brush of chocolate cupcake cooled by a blast of fresh mint. <laughs> you know what this smells like to me? A York peppermint patty. And if you love York peppermint patties, you will enjoy this. I am wondering if I were to mix this with like sugar cookie, if I could get it to smell more like Bath and Body Works peppermint sugar cookie. So I may be mixing this when I get a brick of sugar cookie in just to see if I can kind of get it to smell like that. Otherwise, eh, don't ever have to have it. So the last four bars in this bundle are, let's see, 
Red Berry and Spruce is the next one. And that is um, a merry mix of cranberry and raspberry swirled with a sprig of blue spruce. Hmm. This is a unique scent. Mm. This smells like Christmas to me. <laughs> I like it. Don't love it, but I like it. And this is something that I would have never tried um, otherwise. So that's the kind of cool thing about this wax bundle. This is nice. Definitely a scent I can see enjoying in December. Okay, next is Snow Kiss Cranberry which is frozen pink cranberries trekked through fresh fallen powder, white balsam, and, oops, sorry, kick the bag, and glistening, glistening sugared woods. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, let's see. Hmm. I definitely get the cranberry. I, don't know, I might get like a hint of raspberry and I do get the spruce. Again, this is a unique scent that I could see enjoying around the holidays that I probably would have never tried. So I like it, not a love, but I like it. Oh, uh, next up is tinselberry, which is strawberry and cranberries dipped in cinnamon and sweet sugar for a little extra sparkle. Mm. Hmm. This is an interesting combination, again. And I kind of like this one, like a lot. So I'll be interested to see how this smells on warm. And that's Tinselberry. And then the last one is Wasail, 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 I'm not sure how to pronounce that, Wonderland, which is orange zest, lemon peel, and cinnamon stick over fresh fur needles. Ooh, wow. Doesn't my face say it all? I don't ever <laughs> have to warm this. Oh, like I said, I was doing something different and the Christmas <laughs> in Wonderland bundle was definitely different. And uh, since we're talking about Christmas scents, <laughs> I thought I would also share, I snagged the Trim the Tree Scentsy Warmer. And I'm gonna see if I can kind of get it out of the bag real quick. Um, I'm not gonna take it fully apart because it's packaged so well. But look how beautiful uh -oh, this is. I literally got it for decor purposes. I know it's like a 20 watt um, warmer, so I'm not expecting it to do a whole lot as far as um, throwing a scent, but it was so beautiful that I couldn't pass it up, especially for the sale price. So the next bundle that we got, um, what else did I get? I got the farmer's market bundle and I did warm a couple of these already and I think they were in my empties video. So just <laughs> fair warning, I don't have all of the, of the scents just because I used some of them. So, but the first one is, and I don't know if I have these in any sort of order. So you may see me digging just a little bit. Where is A is for Apple? Okay, <laughs> sorry, got it. A is for Apple is the first one. And the scent notes are Sweet Tart Grady Smith and Macintosh notes offer a bite of pure apple bliss. And this literally to me smells like a fresh, crisp green apple. Uh, something that I will enjoy Probably like September going into October, I could see myself enjoying that. So that's one. Uh, okay, and I think I'm gonna just, sorry, I'm trying to, because I like took these out, uh, I wanna try to keep them together. Oh, and the next one was Rayburn, which is fresh apple and luscious assortment of tropical fruit. Um, enjoy a sprightly pop of whipped sugar and creamy vanilla. I've already warmed that one. I enjoyed it, but it was light. I wish it was stronger. Next is Coastal Strawberry. I've heard a lot of people love this one, but it is not a great performer, but it's really pretty. And this is Earthy Fruity Strawberry Vine and Raspberry Seeds over Jasmine Petals. And this scent is very beautiful. Mmm, <laughs> like 
this smells really, really nice. This is definitely a pretty spring slash summer scent. Really enjoying that. Uh, let's see. Next is Mad for Melon, which did I warm? I may have warmed Mad for Melon. I think I warmed Mad for Melon as well. I don't think I had that one. I think I warmed it already and I liked it. Wasn't a super strong performer and that was Juicy Honeydew Melon Fresh from the Vine is adorned with freesia and wild poppy. Um, next is Pretty and Plum. I don't see that one. So it may be in my warming basket. I don't know where it is at the moment. So we will go past that one. The next one is, unless it's over, oh, nope, is that it? Nope, that's something else. Okay, next is Red, White, and Berry Pie. And I've heard a lot about this one. And this is uh, a sweet slice of ripened cherry and red raspberry baked with vanilla. And this smells quite delicious. I don't necessarily get like a lot of, um, well, there is no pie crust. That's why I don't get any. <laughs> I get the notes that they say. I definitely get the cherry. It's a cherry that I like. I get the raspberry and I get the vanilla. It smells very nice. Although you would think that this would maybe have a pie note, but I think I'm gonna enjoy that. Next is Sun Ripened Berry, which I think is what this is. And that is a refreshing scoop of orange zest. I'm sorry, a, a refreshing scoop of orange sorbet sprinkled with sun ripened raspberries and strawberry sugar. Mmm. And this smells good. I'm probably going to hopefully enjoy this within the next month or so. A lot of these scents I'm hoping to enjoy within the next month or so. Next is Watermelon Wave. Now I know I saw, I thought I saw, okay. Well, I thought I had grabbed Watermelon Wave and, oh no, it's right here, sorry. I put it down, I was like, I thought I had it. <laughs> Watermelon Wave is a, a ride a riptide of watermelon, sparkling citrus, and tart Mexican lime. Mmm. And this, this smells really good. It smells like a fresh watermelon Jolly Rancher, <laughs> if that makes sense. Next is White Grapefruit, which is um, turn the other cheek, chic, with polished white grapefruit and a hint of fruit nectar. And this, this is strong. Like, I feel like this is gonna be a powerhouse. I'm not sure how I feel about it. I'm not a big fan of grapefruit, but this one may like, once I warm it, I may enjoy it more, but it's definitely strong. Okay, and then, is that it? Uh, well, I know I have two more in here. Maybe I did I already. Oh, no. Well, I, oh, okay. I'm sorry. I already talked about sun ripened berry. I think. Yeah, I talked about sun ripened berry and I don't know. Oh, sweet cucumber. Sorry. Sorry. I, I skipped one. <laughs> sweet cucumber. And this is it's spring at its most picturesque. Fresh apple blossoms, green melon, and sugared citrus mingle with a splash of cucumber water for a calming finish. And let me tell y'all something. I'm not a fan of cucumber scents, like ever. I don't like cucumber. I don't like cucumber melon from Bath and Body Works. They keep bringing back. I don't like cucumber candles. I don't even like actual cucumbers. <laughs> I don't like it. Don't like the taste. Don't like the smell. But this is really great. And if I could, this sweet cucumber... I would actually purchase more of these. That's how much I like it. Shocking, I know. So that is everything that goes in the um, farmer's market bundle. And then I also got, because how could I not? I got the, where is it? Sorry, I have the pictures. Ah, here we go. I got the Bake That bundle because this just sounded too good to pass up. And I think that, yeah, is that my last bundle? No, it's not. I have one more after this. Okay, so the first scent in the Bake That bundle is brownie batter. And this is uh, rich heavenly notes of baked brownie, cocoa powder, and vanilla bean that will set the stage for some serious cravings. And y'all, 
I am not always like one who's looking for a chocolate scent um, in home fragrance. But when I tell you that this smells just like a brownie, oh, I cannot imagine how hungry this will make me when I warm it. <laughs> it smells good. It smells amazingly good. Uh, next is custard apple. Here we go. Which is pineapple, sugar cane, and mango capture the essence of custard apple. And I'm not really sure why this is in the Bake That collection. It's definitely giving like fresh fruity vibes, but it smells good. It smells really good. So I'm not mad at it. It just seems out of place in this bundle. And the next one is one of the reasons why I got this bundle, which is huckleberry apple pie. Sweet apple and huckleberry topped with creamy vanilla make for a glorious and guilt-free fall indulgence. And this smells pretty good. This smells pretty good. Mm, it smells actually quite tasty. So I'm excited about that one. Definitely more fall forward to me. Next is lemon coconut chiffon. Another one that I've heard a lot of people love. Melting your mouth lemon custard layered with butter cake and sprinkled with toasted coconut. Mm. <laughs> Ooh, this one I'm not going to melt for a while. Just because it smells that delicious. Like it smells like a lemon cake, a lemon pastry, a lemon tart, a lemon bar. Ooh, that smells good. And then lastly is another one that has been raved about. Another reason why I got this sweet plum pastry. Black plum and toasted coconut garnish a marshmallow cloud. Cloud. Mmm. Mmm. Man, that smells like that's gonna come alive when you warm. When you warm it, it's gonna come alive. That smells great. So the last bundle that I have, I searched and searched for the fragrance notes. I couldn't find them. I mean, I guess I could have looked up each individual bar, but I'm not. We're just gonna look at them and sniff them and figure it out. Uh, so the first one is Warm Pumpkin Drizzle, which I've heard a lot about. Mmm, and this smells really good. Yeah, I'm pulling these babies out, like, mid-September. <laughs> it's probably, mid to late September is, I think, the latest I can wait. Mmm, that smells really good. I get pumpkin, I get a little bit of cinnamon, and maybe, like, a little bit of caramel. So that's one. Um, next, we have Pretty and Plum. I was trying to look. Hmm. I definitely get plum and maybe something like a little bit darker, like uh, sugar, some sort of vanilla and like hints of cinnamon. That smells great though. Next, I have porch pumpkin. Hmm. This definitely gives me like an outdoorsy fall vibe, like with hints of pumpkin and like leaves and of course a little bit of cinnamon I, I like it though pumpkin marshmallow is the next one mm. some of these sorry I'm trying to warm them up this one may need to cure a little bit longer <laughs> either that or it's just going to be light but it smells like pumpkin and marshmallow and it smells good Next up, we have Autumn Stroll, which, is that one coming back? I can't remember. It's Autumn, no, it might be Autumn Rose that's coming back. Hmm. Definitely cinnamon and some sort of perfumey note. Um, it smells pretty good, though. I like it. I will enjoy that in the fall. Coconut pumpkin pie. Now, to me, this should have been in the Bake That collection instead of that apple custard scent. <laughs> but... Mmm. Mmm. That smells good. I definitely get coconut. The pumpkin to me kind of tones down the coconut and the pie note. A little bit of cinnamon because is it a fall scent if it doesn't have cinnamon? Probably not. Next is honey pear cider. Now I've heard a lot of people really like this scent and I didn't realize that I had it in this bundle. Hmm. This is unique. I don't always love pear scents, but I kind of like it. So I'll be interested to see how that smells on one. Next, we have Harvest Blessings. 
Hmm. This smells fresher than I expected it to. I kind of get like this perfumey outdoorsy note and like some cinnamon. It definitely smells like fall or harvest time. I like it. It smells good. Perfect pumpkin pear. Let's see what this smells like. Ooh. Okay, ooh, I got better when you warmed it up because on initial sniff, that smelled like a fresh clean baby's butt. <laughs> okay, that smells, I'm still getting like hints of like some sort of like clean scent in the backgrounds, like laundry detergent. <laughs> with like pumpkin and cinnamon on top. Interesting. I told you, pear to my nose smells a little weird. Next is sweet cream spice. Oh, wow. Mmm. This to me almost smells kind of like a, a hazelnut creamer. Like I get like that milk note, that kind of hazelnut note. That spice, no, that sugar, that vanilla. It smells really good, though. I would definitely enjoy that in the fall. And then last scent, vanilla cinnamon maple. Hmm. Hmm. Excuse my dogs in the background if you hear that noise and snorting. Hmm. This is pretty basic, but I'll enjoy it in the fall. Nothing else that I, like, have to have. Anyway. Those are all of the bars <laughs> that I got from the warehouse sale. And that is everything. I hope that you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.